tape. Arantes, born in Brazil, fighting out of Newark, New Jersey, just 23 years old. There you see, as we mentioned, El Cantara is eight years his elder, and he will have a seven and a half inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. And the action begins on referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee for this featherweight matchup tonight. Sean Della, Ariani. There you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, come on! Alcantara and Arantis, and here we go. The looser white trunks being sported by Yuri Alcantara, the southpaw. Shaved head in the tighter white trunks for Felipe Arantes. Alcantara swarming quickly. You can see Yuri, this is his style. He loves to pressure, loves to go forward. And against the younger fighter, that's a good strategy. Good inside leg kick. Checked, but still driven through the shin. And a quick spin. Arantes with a nice spin. Felipe switched to southpaw, threw that spinning back kick and landed it. Very, very smart technique and a big elbow from Yuri. Alcantara, very confident. He's got that very traditional Muay Thai stance, Kenny. Yeah, you can see he wants to check those kicks. He keeps lifting that lead left leg to try to check that inside leg kick of Yuri. And he threw it, and he did check it. Southpaw El Quintara. Yuri kind of probing with that right hand. Definitely pressuring, but he's very methodical. He's not just going forward for any reason, waiting, picking his, his spots to enter. Nice left kick to the body. Very good technique for a southpaw. Left kick right to the body, very difficult for a right-handed fighter to block. And he caught the kick. And, and he takes down Arantes. Felipe Arantes responded with the exact same technique. Opposite side, right leg to the body, but he paid for it with a takedown. Yuri's taking him down off of that. In a half-guard position here. This is a good position for him. El Quintara, member of the Brazilian military force, now a full-time mixed martial artist, has trained since 2000, has been a professional since 2004. Yeah, that's a lot of experience here. And you can see it just the way that he's mixing it up. He seems a little more calm than the younger Felipe Arantes. Fighting is truly a culture. And Marachal, Brazil, where he is from, from the bottom, Arantes scores. 5 time state champion in Muay Thai, regional champion in the Black Belt Division in Jiu-Jitsu. Yuri landed a very nice left elbow right on the jaw of Felipe Arantes. Doing some good work here in half guard. Able to posture up and deliver some ground and pound. Over and over again. Now he's looking to pass. See if he can get that leg free. He does. Side control. Very nice, aggressive style from Yuri Alcantara. Trying to get the mount. Looking for a leg lock is Felipe Arantes or a reversal. Did a good job of getting out of there. Almost got mounted. Once again, finds himself in half guard. Alcantara still looking to get over that left knee, Kenny, and get the full mount. Yep, I think Yuri is still very content in the half guard. You can still land a very good amount of damage from this half guard position. You know, in jiu-jitsu, it can be advantageous actually being on your back in half guard, but now in MMA, once you start throwing the punches and the elbows in there, becomes a disadvantage, disadvantageous position to be on your back. It's a completely different animal here. The pace quickening and another huge elbow by El Quintara. Switching to the southpaw stance is Arantis. He's bloodied up. 
may have been from that most recent elbow. Yeah, it cut him open there. Let's see how he reacts going into that second round now with that blood dripping. I like how he throws that elbow from the feet, Kenny. He leads with the jab, the right hand, and then follows up with the elbow. And he's done it more than once as Alcantara here in the round. Yeah, he hops in very, very nice. Jab, instead of throwing that one-two, he'll throw the jab and come right in with that big left elbow. Steps off at an angle, throws it very, very well. A nice little spinning attack from Felipe Arantes. Nice first round delivered by the two Brazilians. Cadê o book? Pode entrar dois, Fabio. 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 Fabio, você pode. We gotta stop it. Breathe. Breathe. Recuperate, breathe. Okay. Recuperate, breathe. There's that big left elbow. Bang. You don't need a lot of space for that elbow to land. And it cut him open right in the eye and definitely was affecting him at the end of that first round. As a man with wicked elbows, you must be pretty impressed with the elbows of the Brazilian, Yuri Alcantara. Yeah, you know, uh, he threw it very, very well. And it's a technique that I don't mind throwing, I just don't want to get hit by it. Correct, yes. You want to be, uh, you want to be the deliverer, not the receiver. They're no fun. Head kick. Both men possessing lightning quick kicks, especially the attacks to the head. And there you see it right there from Felipe Arantes. Yeah, with these two Brazilian guys involved, I'm sure they've kicked the soccer ball every once in a while. And <laughs> you'll see these guys, that's why they're such powerful kickers. That, those same kind of mechanics that you'd use in soccer. These guys are always going to be strong kickers, powerful kickers. And Kenny, that's something you worked on throughout your career is not just throwing the hips, but stepping in with that lead leg, stepping in and almost making it like a full kicking action, almost like kicking a field goal. Absolutely. You know, the, the mechanics aren't, aren't uh, too different. And uh, you'll see a lot of these Brazilian fighters are excellent kickers because of that. Back on the ground, on top again is Alcantara. Once again, working from that half guard position is Yuri Alcantara, looking for that elbow again. Felipe realizes that's not where he wants to be, decides to go to a, a closed guard position. But again, with that closed guard position, it's really not the best defensive type of position to be in. You want to be in an open guard, you can push the guy away a little bit better. When you're in a closed guard position, the guy can still punch and elbow. And now, Yuri's looking to pass. You can see the difference. You right know, Felipe to side Arantes, control. a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and Yuri's on top with a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And you'll see he's been scoring repeatedly with guard passes due to that advantage and experience on the ground. Trying to work his way all the way to the mount. Got it. Nice mount position. He was faking with an arm lock. Switched to the mount position. And this is not where Felipe Arantes wants to be. Great transitions by Yuri Alcantara. I'm going to try to work some damage and finish this fight from the full mount. Ooh, beautiful triangle attack from the mount position. This is a guy who's not just content to just sit there with dominant position. He wants to finish you. He was looking for that triangle. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get it. But you can see his mindset. This is a guy who wants to get you out of there. He wants to, wants to finish the fight. So he got to the mount, looked for the submission, lost it, and now he'll work within the guard of his opponent with just over two minutes on the clock here in the second. Really impressed with Yuri Alcantara. Very aggressive style, methodical. Goes in with the strategy. 
and really pacing himself very well for his UFC debut. And he's done a very good job on the feet against Arantis, who is known to be the better striker, at least on paper. Arantis much younger than El Quintara, 24-3. Very impressive record for El Quintara. Yeah, you know, he just, he's used simple techniques, Mike, to, to really thwart the offense of Felipe Arantes, and he's doing a very good job with this simple left kick, his one-two elbow, taking him down, mixing it up with the strikes, and really keeping Arantes guessing throughout this fight. Looks like Alcantara is, uh, has a little bit more energy, though, now. Arantes circling on the outside. Watch for the lead jab, followed by the elbow from Alcantara. Oh, nice knee. Very nice knee from Arantes. Try to work it from the clinch position. But Alcantara gets a nice takedown up against the fence. And once again, he's on top. And this could be very frustrating for a fighter. Kind of started to get his rhythm a little bit. Came back from, you know, being on his back. But once again, Alcantara has him on his back. He's back to doing uh, what he does best here. Landing some good blows here from the half guard position. And matching the speed and reflexes of his younger opponent very well. And that's something to always look for in these lighter weight fights, is the age and the speed and the reflexes. You know, they always talk about that old man strength lasts for a long, long time. But the speed and reflexes, Alcantara, very evenly matched with the 23-year-old Arantes. Absolutely, he hasn't lost anything. Uh, his timing looks phenomenal out there, and he's controlling these rounds, without a doubt. Sit down. Give me your legs. Look at me. Pay attention. Gotta, gotta do this right, damn it. Gotta pass his guard. Now right. is your time. Set for the third and final round. Felipe Arantes, 23 years old. Yuri Alcantara, 31. Dream come true tonight. Both fighting in the octagon for the first time. There you go, last round. You ready? Yuri did fight. Let's in the go, WEC. You know, Yuri's been controlling this fight, but it looks like th there's a little bit of momentum shift. Arantes looked to be the more oh, energetic guys pack. going into this round, but now... Looking to lock in that body triangle, Kenny. Beautiful, beautiful timing on that takedown from Alcantara. Now he has his back once again in a dominant position. And just about to say that Arantes looked like he had a lot of energy. He was bouncing. He looked more active. Then Alcantara, and now he's back oh, on nicely top. Nicely done. Very nice reversal from Arantes. Alcantara wasn't able to secure that second hook and kind of was on his side. Arantes really picked the right time to spin and turn, face his opponent, get out of the choke and get back on top and in the guard of Alcantara. And he needs to work here. He's obviously down two rounds. He knows it. He has to stay active. He needs to stop Alcantara right here. Those are some vicious elbows. Arantes trying to score some big points here in the third. The first time we've seen Alcantara on his back in this fight. Arantes finds himself in a very good position. Really needs to score big damage here. Again, he's able to posture up. Alcantara trying to control his posture by holding on to that arm. All the way back up is Felipe. Big right hand. A 
Rock just trying to score some leg kicks here. Alcantara had some nice attacks off of his guard. Full guard now. Ferrantes really wants to do some damage or set up some submission attempts. He's going to have to either get a, a leg lock here from this guard position or pass the guard because even if he wins this round, it'd be hard to believe that the judge is going to go with him in this fight. Just about to the midway point of the third and final round. Unbeaten in the last nine fights is Felipe Arantes, 11 fight winning streak for Yuri El Cantara. Very impressed with the heart of Arantes. Coming back strong here, really now bringing the pace. You know, we talked about the age difference possibly being a factor in the later rounds. And, and Arantes seems to be the more energetic fighter here. And Mario Yamasaki stands him up. Flying knee, caught, taken down. See, this is where the inexperience may be coming into play. Instead of kind of setting it up, you know, maybe he got a little overly aggressive and now he finds himself on his back again. Perhaps a more experienced fighter would wait, set it up. In a round, Kenny, in which he had the majority of the control. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was winning the round here. Had, you know, around two minutes to really set something like that up here. And he really went for it. But paid for it with a takedown. 90 seconds remain in this fight. Working out a half guard. This is really where Alcantara is landing the majority of his blows here. Going to the body, working the elbows to the face. Arantes has to be frustrated here. The elbow earlier that we showed you on the replay, the one that cut Felipe Arantes. Quick, sharp elbow from the guard of his opponent. Good control of posture by the 23-year-old. And they'll stand him again. 45 seconds remain. This time it looks like he'll try to set it up, Kenny. Yeah, he's going to have to gonna have to do something here under 45 seconds almost 30 seconds left in the round here looking for the single nice takedown from Alcantara very difficult when you know a guy can actually strike with you or is even similar in striking level to you but also possesses good takedowns it really can thwart a guy striking and really get him to not you know get off on his punches and that's exactly what he's been doing to Arantes perhaps Arantes with a better striker here but he was respecting the takedowns of Alcantara so much that uh, Alcantara really was able to do very, very well on the feet with him. Fight goes the distance, the Battle of Brazilians here in Rio. Very impressive fight from Alcantara. As he extended his winning streak to 12, we'll find out as the judges render their decision. Nice shot from Morantes. Tried to go for that big knee, but it was Alcantara who really took advantage of it with the takedown. And again, scored a beautiful takedown in that third round. Got on top and finished the fight on the mount. And uh, put an exclamation point on this fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Yuri Mirajo Alcantara. It is now a 12-fight win streak for Yuri Alcantara. He wins tonight by unanimous decision. <laughs>